I have a very special person to ask a question, and then I'll get back to you. Sure. But uh, please, <laughs> we, you'll have a Kogi question now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, both of them too. Yeah. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Hola. Sí, por favor, senta. Por favor. Bien. Por favor. Bueno, eh, estaba pensando cuando todas estas explicaciones, eh, estamos hablando como si fuera a hablar en otro mundo. Otro pensamiento. La pregunta es, la pregunta es, el hombre quiere, quiere hacer todo en artificial. Entonces, eh, ¿dónde va a estar el personaje que nos creó el mundo? que creó el agua, que creó la tierra, que, creó, que nos creó a ser humano, que creó los animales, que creó los árboles. ¿Dónde va a estar el pensamiento de ese personaje? Con el, con el pensamiento artificial. Eh, ¿Cuándo se ha puesto ese acuerdo con esos personajes que ya creó todo, que ahora nosotros queremos creer, que queremos crearlos. Entonces, si ¿sí se han hablado con esos padres espirituales, si ¿Sí se han hecho un acuerdo con padres espirituales, si nos han hecho algo que no está dentro de las normas naturalezas, normas ancestrales, eso pienso que vamos hacia un exterminio del ser humano. Entonces, quería preguntar, ¿dónde se han hecho ese acuerdo con la madre naturaleza para poder hacer todas esas cosas que, que se quieren hacer? Es como si fuera la pregunta. So, uh, yeah, I'll paraphrase it a little bit, because we've just been sitting there and he's explained me some more, some more details and it's important to understand some of, some of the concepts. So, uh, the Kogi see there's two types of thoughts. There's the thoughts I would call it of the earth, of, of the creation, of, of what we have in the natural world, because they don't believe it's random. They don't believe in the, in the Big Bang. It's, it's a conscious, conscious act of creation. And then there are the thoughts of humans that we have. And in the beginning, you started with the definition that basically AI is the reproduction of behavior, maybe even of knowledge, of humans. So what about the reproduction of the knowledge and the behavior of creation, of the earth, of the plants, of the animals? And then there's the second question, but that's the first one. Okay, well, so I don't know how to answer that. Um, <clears throat> in a way, you know, if you actually believe that we are in a simulation, it kind of answers a lot of the questions because, you know, who created the simulation? So, like, at least, you know, there is something before in a way, right? There's like a, there's something outside the box that we can relate to. Um, so I find, you know, the simulation idea to actually be very close to the concept of religion when you think about it, right? Because, you know, it implies that there is someone who built the simulation in the first place. And so it's very possible that we might create our own simulation in which, you know, the next generation of artificial, you know, people uh, will experience things the way we are experiencing it now. I'm not saying that's the case, right? I really hope it's not because it would be very depressing, to be honest. Uh, but we can't tell. You know, if you're inside the game, you don't know that it's a game, right? And that's why it's like so mind blowing. And the only thing that we can tell is if we can recreate such a game that is indistinguishable from reality, then it at least creates the possibility that we might ourselves be in one. Okay, I'll try and explain the idea of a simulation to the Kogi now. Um, What's Matrix? Is the, mm. is the best example. It's a tough one. Um, You're asking a tough question. Uh, yeah. Um, bueno, él está diciendo que um, cómo sabemos quién creó el mundo. Cómo podemos saber si todo lo que percibimos, o sea, todo lo que pensamos, lo que es la realidad, el mundo, la, el planeta Tierra, 
si esto no es como, un, como una ilusión, como un juego, como, un, como algo que no existe. O sea, si estamos adentro de eso, ¿cómo sabemos quién lo hizo? O sea, alguien, si estamos dentro del mundo, debe haber alguien de afuera que lo creó. ¿Y cómo podemos saber quién es? ¿Cómo podemos saber si fueron los padres espirituales? ¿Cómo lo podemos saber si estamos dentro del, del mundo? ¿Y cómo podemos saber que, como el del, del pensamiento humano, cómo podemos saber si es diferente del, del, del pensamiento de la Tierra? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo lo podemos saber? Esa es la respuesta a la primera pregunta. La segunda, del, del permiso, todavía no, no le pregunté. Ahorita le voy a preguntar. Pero eso es lo que, lo que él respondió. ¿Está bien? ¿Le pongo, ¿Le pongo la pregunta? He had the second question, which is kind of first thing on the, build, on the, sec, on the first one. And he said, If there is um, basically the, the mother of the creation, the, 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 the whole world, did you ask for permission? Or, I mean, he's asking all of us. Did we ask for permission to build something artificial that is not in accordance with this law? And um, who did we ask the permission to? Yeah, it's a good question. So nobody who's been in AI actually thought that they would be able to build AI at a human level, right? You know, it started like, oh, you know, let's try to predict what kind of music people like to listen to. Let's try to, you know, give better advertising on Google. Uh, let's try to make cars that drive themselves so we don't have accidents. Let's try to diagnose diseases so that we don't have to rely on doctors who are honestly not enough to help everybody else. So there was always like a very specific goal. It's only recently that people started believing and wanting to build, I would say, like a human level intelligence. Why they would want to do that? I'm not very sure, to be honest. I don't think it's particularly useful, unless, unless you believe that there is a chance that the human race might go extinct, and that might be a way to, as Kurzweil believes, to create immortality. Upload your brain into an AI you know, equivalent, get into a simulation, and then you know, whatever happens to Earth happens to Earth. So I find it to be a very pessimistic view of the world to believe in artificial human intelligence. That's why I don't believe in it, to be honest. Like, you know, I think that this is real. I really think that this is real, right? And I don't want to even know that it's not, to some extent. Bueno, él dijo que, como lo explico, o sea que al final él no entiende por qué la gente está creando eso. O sea, mucha gente al principio, como comenzó todo, estaba pensando, bueno, ¿qué tipo de música la gente quiere escuchar? ¿Qué tipo de, no sé, cosas la gente quiere hacer? Y así se comenzó poco a poco a poco. O sea, no, eso lo que vemos ahora, eso del, del nivel así de tanto, no era así. O sea, hace algunos años de poco a poco se, se hizo. Y esa idea de crear algo artificial que es como... Para, por ejemplo, la idea es que, que van a poner el cerebro humano en una máquina y cuando tú te mueres, tu cerebro y tu pensamiento sigue ahí en esta máquina. O sea, es, te vuelves como una máquina. Y él dice que piensa que es una forma muy triste de pensar sobre el mundo porque, porque esta gente piensa que el mundo se va a acabar. Y poner el cerebro humano en, en una máquina es la única forma de cómo podemos sobrevivir como humanos. Es algo muy triste. Yeah. AI is plan B, basically. Plan A is Earth. If we mess this up, AI might be plan B. Bueno. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Gracias. I'm sorry we don't have more questions. I'm sorry we don't have time for more questions, but please pause a second with me and see what's happening here. We have an AI French entrepreneur, expert PhD, amazing brain, but not only brain, really cool friend too. Please talk to Rand. We have um, Lucas here who has learned for six years with the Kogis, right? A few, yeah. A few on years, because nothing happens like this, right? I don't call the Kogis and hey, I'm Loic, you know. <laughs> No. <laughs> and we have a Kogi master, Luciano? Uh, Aregoses. 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 Who is talking on stage with 40 people, 40 countries, and online more, about AI. This is a dream. Why? <laughs> 
I mean, seriously, like, uh, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm not, as we say in French, I'm not sending myself flowers. <laughs> I, I, that's not, I'm, I'm trying to be conscious of what's happening here. Uh, this is the most important, because if RAND starts creating AIs and whatever is creating, which I'm sure is great, without connecting with the planet, with the intelligence of plants, nature that, uh, that um, we are representing here with indigenous leaders, and I would love to have a Puyanawa come back anytime as well. This is how it should work, so, so that we preserve the planet, so that we preserve this intelligence. People don't, might not see the intelligence of, of nature. And that's the theme of power. This is why I pose on this, natural versus artificial, Natural versus artificial. You're not real. so artificial. <laughs> I, I, don't we like that Rand is in, like he's the, he's, he's the union leader of all the AI in the world right now? <laughs> but, but this is how it should be, I think, that they should talk. And that's what we're trying, uh, we're trying to do. So thank you so much for uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rand.